adjustments which make them service dog legs. They've got a certain one called a shoulder wrap so you can actually uh, the lead over your shoulder. Uh, I will be going over handles first. Yep. Right so the first adjustment is of course your handle for the legs. So they, as you can see, it has clips both ends. Um, so it just clips on like that. And then you have your handle on this one. And then, of course, it's the same. It's the same with this one. So, hmm. There's a handle. There's your handles. Right, so now we're going to go through the adjustments of the lead. So like I had before, this is the handle adjustment. And then we have the shoulder adjustment. So goes over your shoulder which I will demonstrate later um, and then I actually forgot to tell the person who made this so it's not really their fault but then we have the guide dog lead so it just clips up like that and makes a shorter lead yep Right, so now we're going over the adjustments on this one. 
So of course we have the handle and then we have the waist and hang on. Then we have the waist and shoulder, um, which I will demonstrate better later. And then we have the common guide dog lead. So that's like that. So roughly both my service dog legs are around the two meter point. Um, so I'm, they're a really good length for the lead. Um, and yeah. Right, so they really do cost, like they're very, very expensive. You sometimes can get them up to $100 or more. Um, this one was actually $75, this one, the custom made. And then this one came to $40, including shipping. So this one... Yeah, this one's better. We've, I would much rather pay a little bit extra for a better lead. So this is Benson, who I promised to introduce you to earlier. Now, he is a puppy, so he's absolutely mad. <laughs> um, he's not as well trained as my other two dogs, of course. Um, this is demonstrating him on the service dog lead just with the handle. Um, So I have had my pop because Benson is so bonded to my pop. Um, so he's come to demonstrate this for you because Benson won't listen. What am I demonstrating? You're walking him. Here. Um, so, so that was with the handle, which was very good. I think my pop is going to call Benson to him now. Benson, come. Sit. That was a very good, good cup. Sit. Recall. Good boy. And a very good sit. All right. Um, now we will demonstrate the shoulder wrap with a puppy. My pop's never used this before. I'm the one that normally uses this. Um, <laughs> it allows you to um, walk freehand, free as you can see, Benson's Ew. misbehaving a little bit. Ew. And my Scott, pop Scott is walking stupidly. Sit. <laughs> now, Benson normally does this. Come. Sit. Because my pop did um, a mistake sit. once, telling Benson to sit when he was doing training, and Benson stood on the lead 
um, and was wondering, how the hell did he tie me down? Hill. <laughs> but, yeah. Hill. Um, she, oh, what a champion. Uh, so, as you can see, that was very good. Um, I don't think the lead fixed on my pop prop properly. So, <laughs> I can't believe it! You weren't wearing it correctly. I Ow. can fix So the reason you might be wondering, the reason why I have a service dog is sadly I suffer from PTSD and anxiety, which really sucks. Um, so I have panic attacks and all of that. And of course this one gives me my life back and she alerts me for when I'm about to have a panic attack. Right, so now I'm going to demonstrate the shoulder wrap with Dot for you. So I clip that bit onto a collar and I throw that like that and then I bring that, I've done that wrong, I throw that like that, I put it on. <laughs> Right, so now I'm going to demonstrate the shoulder wrap with Dot walking around. Um, I clip this bit there onto a collar and then I throw this bit like that, bring that down and clip there and I fix that to where I want to sit. Um, and then I tell Dot, Dot, Dotty, heel. Good girl. And that will wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye.